and how it's going to be organized, and you have also information about the assessment strategy, what type of assessment you're going to have, what is what is called the threshold criteria, what is the limited um, stuff you need to do to actually pass this unit, um, and all those kind of information. Then you will have something that is quite important, and that is called the guided learning. The guided learning is actually where you will have all the content of what you are going to study. Um, the way we study in the MBA is a little bit different from um, other MBA, okay? um, because it's what we call flipped, and um, we don't have a lot of time, a lot of face to face with you. So there, was, there is a lot of things here um, that you actually need to look at before coming to any session because we won't have time to actually go through all that. Um, most of the time, the way it's organized, is that you have what you're supposed to read in your textbook. Okay, So you've got the textbook here with what you're supposed to read. You have one PowerPoint that is actually explaining a concept and you have other elements, videos and all those kind of elements. So most of the time you have a PowerPoint with a concept, a video that is linked to that concept and then a paper that you are supposed to read that is linked that. And that's always structured the same way. One PowerPoint, one video, one paper to you. Okay? So you will see that it's always the same and uh, you have mainly it's structured by theme. So we have one part about what we call the introduction to strategy, so that's what you need to broadly know about strategy. Then you have a part about what we call the external analysis, then you're going to have a part about what we call the internal analysis, then you have elements about data collection, how do you collect the information you're going to need, then you have elements about corporate and business strategy, elements about global marketing, and how to incorporate all those different elements together. Okay? Most of the time, the um, introduction, external, internal, and data collection is what you need for your first assignment. So for the first assignment, you should have covered all that. The second one is more about corporate strategy, business, and all that kind of stuff. Okay? So, then you have on the side assessment and feedback. That's where you're going to actually find the assessment brief and the marking criteria that we discussed a little bit um, this morning. Um, and that's really, really important that you go through that and make sure you understand what you need to do. Okay? Uh, then you have teaching team. So, have you, um, did you have a look at the, um, the UF? Yes? Do you have any questions about what is in the UF?
process are you getting looking at it? Yes. yes. Okay. So you, you've got the first part that is more about information, you know, uh, classical information, how do you hold it and those kind of things. Oh perfect.
description of the case study. And the second one is actually once I have identified my case study, what can I do? What are the options? So the first one is mainly trying to understand what is going on. The second one is based on what is going on, what kind of strategic decision do I need to take? Make sense? So, first, individual assignment form of consulting report, um, focus strategic analysis on an identified and critical aspect of the external environment. The purpose of the assignment is to give you the opportunity to demonstrate understanding of emerging events and the application of your analysis. Okay? So, as I said this morning, what we need to start to do is to identify what are the main keywords and what are the elements that are of importance to you. So the first one is this notion of produce a focused strategy analysis. That's one. Then you have this notion of critical aspects of the external environment. Okay? So make sure you understand those themes. What do they mean? Uh, Opportunity to demonstrate understanding of emerging events. So we are talking about emerging events. The emerging events are actually the same thing as that. Identify the critical aspects of the external environment. Okay? And the application of your analysis. The application will be when you are talking about that. Second assignment. Um, Providing an evaluating strategy and marketing option. So the first one is just understanding what is going on. The second one is designing a strategy. Okay? And make specific recommendations. No recommendations in your first assignment. Okay? The second one is 100% about recommendation. The first one is really trying to understand what is going on. purpose of the second one is to develop reasoning and decision making skills. Okay? So we are going to actually look at two, what does it mean? It's two different things. That you are going to take some decisions and that we are going to look if your decisions are logical, rational, coherent. As well as to prepare you to professional practice. That's elements that you will need later when you are going to actually take some decisions. Does it make sense still there?
Is that okay? So you've got your textbook. Um, you will see that the textbooks sometimes are they are producing new editions. Okay? The only thing that is changing mainly in those editions are the case studies they are using. Um, the content stay quite the same. So if we go back.
what you have done or how can you progress for the second assignment. Make sense? So, let's see what we said in this first. Select an organization and ask your tutor to approve it in class. So you are allowed to select the work, the firm you want to work with. Okay? Be careful because that has major implication. You need to be sure you will be able to collect enough information on that firm to actually succeed in what you are asked. We tend 
them to actually try to um, encourage the student to look at the local, uh, not the local, but the national uh, firms that you have because it, it's more related. I mean, there isn't, um, if you're an healthcare student, it might be really interesting for you to do your analysis on the NHS, uh, but at the same time, is it really, really re relevant um, for what you need here? Not really. So try to think really about what is going on here and try to see if you find a firm where you can collect enough information. Make sense? So, group preparation, collect information about both the organization and the industry. So, what does it mean? Most of the time, students don't have any trouble about the organization. They know what is an organization. That's the name of a firm, that's the name of a firm. That's not a firm. Trickier when it comes to the industry. What is an industry? Analysis, you have to look at your competitors. Right? 
Now, if I'm saying my industry is airline, then my competitors are not trains and cars anymore. Okay. But here, once again, I may have, let's say, um, okay, I would iterate, um, Myanmar International Airline. Okay. Um, yeah, whatever you can list them. Yeah. But if I'm saying luxury, is Myanmar International Airline a competitor? No. So competitor will be a TMAT or whoever you want. Okay? So the way you are going to define your industry is going to have a major impact on how you do your analysis later. Okay? And you will see that that has major implication within the frameworks you are going to use. Not that much about the Pestel analysis when you're looking at power, at power, sorry, at politics, um, environment, legal element, and all those kind of things, because they tend to be, doesn't really matter if you are a low cost airline or a luxury airline, most of the time you have to obey the same law. You don't have the choice. Um, you have to look at the price of um, the oil, that's going to affect you both, and so on and so forth. But when you are looking at what we call the five forces, okay, power of rivalry, power of buyer, Fire of substitute, um, threat of new entrants, and so on. You will see those frameworks. That's changing everything. So let's take, if I'm taking, I'm giving you an example. I'm going to just introduce really quickly this notion of, um, this notion of five forces. Thank you. 
items are assessed is going to actually provide you an analysis of the industry, how is your industry structured. Okay? So now, if I'm saying that a part of my industry is transportation, okay, my analysis is going to say that those people
strengths, an identification of what we call the key drivers. Okay? So, trends and key drivers, think of it as elements that are going to shape your industry in the next 5 to 10 years. Okay? So, that's the external elements that are going to actually provide the structure of your industry in the next 10 years. So, a long time ago, when we were taking pictures, what were we doing? We had a camera, we were taking pictures, then what did we have to do? Go to a photograph and ask, you know, all the process and blah blah blah. Are we still doing that today? Why? Yeah, technology. So, that's what I'm talking about. That technology was, digital technology was actually an element that completely changed the photograph industry. Okay? And that's the type of thing we are going to look at. So when you are going to do your analysis, most of the time, and I'm going to take this example again, most of the time what is going to happen is the students have a framework and they want to apply that framework. So, I've got my analysis in terms of intensity of the primary, my intensity in terms of power buyer, my intensity of a power supplier, threat of human drugs, threat of substitute. And they really want to put everything in there. But if you're thinking about it, and you're saying, I'm in the luxury airline, do you see a lot of people investing, new people coming into the luxury airline? No? Why? The level of investment that is required to actually you know, be a player there is in fact a barrier to entry. So there is nothing to say about the threat of new interest. You can just like say there is no threat, that's it. And you move on. Exactly the same thing when you are going to do your best tell. Political and all those different elements. You can just like, depending on your industry, that will not have the same impact. Some industries are highly regulated, so the law is going to play a major part, whereas others are not at all. So it's up to you to actually identify what is really relevant. And what we are going to look at is also the relevancy. That's a lot to go through, and I'm going really, really quick, but remember you will have all those lectures to really explain to you what is going on and, and all those kind of things. Do you have questions? If, if you went through a little bit, do you have any questions or stuff you want to know about the unit?
yeah, try to go with the thing. That, that depends if you prefer Greek or Latin. And it's a verb, okay? Um, in Latin, everything that finish like that is an O is actually the first um, the first person. So it means I. Any okay. idea of the meaning? No, no, of the rest of the world. So you know the O there is actually saying I. The idea is in English, you know in English when you are looking at the verb um, in present, the second, if, if you say if you say for example loves It's a verb, and you know that it's if it's finished by an S, it's either E or she. Okay? That's exactly the same thing here. If it's finished by O, it means I. Okay? Yeah. Then the meaning of strategy is I drive or I lead. Allow me, and I'm going to try to deconstruct that, and then say drive. I've got someone that knows how 
have to drill through a mountain. So I will still be able to go through that straight line. Okay. If not, well, what is the path that I want to choose to actually reach my objective? So we are back to this decision making process. But of course, most of the time, you're not alone. So maybe you drive an army, but you're not the only one driving an army. How are they called? For competitors? Because if they want to actually reach the same place as you, well, you are going to be in problem. Okay? So if you just remember that, okay, I drive an army, you have all the elements there that is actually what we are dealing in when we are looking at strategy. So your first part is trying to understand who are your competitors, trying to look at your resource, trying to look at your environment. That's the first thing we do. The second one is more about deciding which pathways, which path you want to actually take to achieve your objective. And that's more when you design actually your strategy. Make sense? Yeah. If you remember that, that would be really, really helpful for you because